everyone, my name is Grayson. I am so excited to be back for our spring toddler STEM kit videos for the Hop Hog Public Library. Today we'll be starting with our rainbow rainy day art. So this mostly is supposed to be done when it's raining outside, but if it's not raining, there's alternate options to do this activity that I'll tell you a little bit about later. But first, let's go over the supplies you'll need. You'll need some watercolor paper. It has to be heavy watercolor paper. So this paper here is 140 pound paper. So it needs to be really sturdy because you're gonna put some water on it later on. And then you'll need washable markers. You can use any colors you want. I have all the colors of the rainbow here and I have black and brown as well. And then you just get started with drawing on your paper. So all you need to do is fill your paper up with color. You can color it any way you like. So I'm gonna use all the colors on my paper. And then after you're done coloring it, that's when you're going to use the rain outside, or if it's not raining, you'll be able to use a shower or a watering can to get the same effect. So I'm gonna color in my paper, and then I'll be back to show you what our next step is. Once you've got your colored in art, you're gonna put it on a flat surface outside. I'm putting mine out here on the table. You're gonna let the rain do its work and leave it there for a couple of minutes. You don't wanna leave it too long and then we'll check back later to see what it looks like. I left my papers outside for about two and a half minutes and look at the artwork that came out of it. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm not gonna hold it up for too long, otherwise it'll drip everywhere. So give these some time to dry. It might take a couple hours and you'll see the beautiful spread of all the colors on your paper and how they mix together and it makes some really neat watercolor art that's very easy very fun and if it's rainy it's very quick if it's not raining outside you can always go into your shower and turn the water on and let the shower water act as the rain um, or you can even use a watering can that you would use for a garden just fill that up with water and pour it on top and be sure that you have paper towels down or a regular towel down after you've done this because as you can see from my paper towel here, it will drip onto the, onto the towel and you don't want it to get on your tables or floors or anything like that. I hope you all had fun doing this activity with me and we will see you back here next week for our five census test. Bye bye everyone.